Hey guys, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Joji. I do makeup tutorials and makeup reviews here on my channel. So if you want to see my videos, make sure to subscribe on my channel. And today we are going to review another lip product from one of my favorite brand, NARS Cosmetics. They just added three new shades to their um, Power Matte Lip Pigment, but I have two shades here. I have the Dragon Girl and Bad Guy. So I chose these shades because I think these are like the best for me. The other one, I think it is called Le Freak. Le Freak. And that one is a bit too light for me. So these are the two shades that I have today. So if you want to see the swatches, we're going to do swatches, demo, and application today. And if you are interested, just keep on watching. Alright, before we get started, let's talk a little bit about this product. So it retails for $34 Canadian. It is a long-wearing and transfer-resistant formula, full coverage, comfortable, really flexible product. It is pigmented, really, really good colors. I do have, again, the Dragon Girl and Bad Guy right here. So these are the shades that they just added, like, new shades into their collection. I already have a video of other shades, so I'm gonna put a link down below so you guys, if you want to see more of shades from this collection you can do that my main advice to you guys when you're trying to apply this on do not put too much because if you layer a lot it's going to dry on your lips so you don't need a lot just one layer is enough and when you try to use this make sure that you shake it properly because it is quite liquidy and it settles and i think i mentioned that on my first video these are the new shades that they just added like about a week or two weeks ago so there is three but i just got again the dragon girl and the bad guy and in this case we're going to apply the bad guy first because this is the soft rose nude and it's a really really good shade that i always attracted to let's open up so usually this is the packaging nothing is changed it's all the same like the other ones that it's already out in the market so and i'm going to show you the doe foot applicator on this one because it's really good for precision and i don't think i have really shown you that on my first one that i did this is the doe foot applicator it's so interesting it's not a typical doe foot that you're gonna see on other uh, liquid lipstick it has a flat on the other side flat but then like pointy on on the end so it's really really good for that and we are going to apply so i have my mirror right here so i'm gonna apply first and then do the swatch so as you see that guys i only have that first and i'm gonna build up a little bit but i'm not gonna dip another one because this is enough already guys so that is the bad guy shade on my lips right now i'm gonna give you a swatch as well i really really love the shades the good thing with this formula is even if i don't wear a lip liner it's still looks really good i don't think it's needed a lip liner so i'm gonna give you a swatch there you go and that is the swatch of bad guy perfect so now that you see that on my lips it dries down a little bit darker so it almost like it deoxidized a little bit but it's even better because when you first apply it it seems like it's a bit light but once it dries down it actually shows a little bit more color and that's what i love with this formula and it's so comfortable it's like it feels like it's just there but doesn't feel like it's drying your lips and all of that stuff with a liquid matte that sometimes you encounter this one is really really good and i I re just really love the shade. The next shade is something that I think it's one of a kind. Um, it's not a new shade, but it's different. So I'm going to clean this up and I'll be right back with the second shade. All right, lip is clean. Now let's go ahead and apply the Dragon Girl shade. So this shade is actually not a new shade. So it already exists in the in their uh, lip pencil, which is the matte finish. And this one is a liquid. So the only thing that I have seen is it's so different between the lip pencil and the liquid. I feel like this one shows more color. It is a vivid siren red. So it is a really, really good shade, guys. I'm like... So in love with it when I saw it. Let's apply it and show you how it looks like. Very new. Let's get my mirror and apply. And 
And then I'm going to give you a swatch as well. Alright guys, here is the Dragon Girl shade on my lip right now. It is so good. I really, really love how it looks like. To me, it is a little bit more pinkier than more red, which is so interesting because the Dragon Girl on the lip pencil is a lot less potent. It's less pigmented than the liquid and understandably, it is fair because liquid is always liquid. It always looks different when you apply it. And yeah, I just really love how the Dragon Girl looks like on the liquid formula. And this is the swatch I'm going to show you. Um, you can see this is the Dragon Girl, the red one, and this is the bad guy, the nude one. Already, so as you see, you can look one more time before I remove this because I'm, I think I'm going to wear this one today, the nude one. And also, before I, I remove this one, we are going to test it. I'm going to... You know, because it says it's transfer resistant, we're going to test that and see how it goes. Okay, so I have a tissue right here and we are going to do this to see if it does transfer or not. It's gonna do this. <laughs> Oh, it's pretty good. I feel like I see a little bit of transfer, like just my lip but i think that's just how it looks like over there as you see um let's try it again just a little bit more and see if it does i think it will transfer a lot more when you put too much and also if it hasn't settled on your lips it hasn't dried down yet i think it's gonna do that so we'll give it a little bit of time to dry down before you put your mask or anything and also do not put too much i find with this formula if you put a lot of layers it can get a little bit more drying and the product starts to come off because it's just too much on your lips you don't need a lot of layer because it is pigmented enough already so we're gonna try it one more time and that's how much I got from that and you see how much I press on my lips and I did press pretty much so that we can really see. Um, let's try it with my finger to kind of rub it a little bit. And it does definitely does come off on my finger right there. But it's definitely not as bad as the other um, transfer resistant that I have seen. What is good about this is on a day where you just want to hang out with your friends and, you know, have some tea, coffee, eat a little bit of lunch right there, here and there. It's really good because it's going to stay and you don't need to touch up a lot. So I think it's a, still a good formula for me and the shade is just so amazing. Dragon Girl, man, yeah. And I did press it again. It comes off and yeah I think I would suggest uh, for you guys when you try to wear this under your mask just try to buff it up with a tissue first before you apply any mask so that you really get rid of the excess and that is it from me today guys I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a big thumbs up because it's really going to help me a lot with YouTube algorithm and if you have any suggestions or if you think that you're gonna wear these shades or not just leave a comment down below so that I can see them and I think that's it and I will see you again on my next video thank you guys bye